everyone. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with a fun new brew from uh, the new Epic of the Dragon Lord. With, uh, we're, we're showcasing White and the Aborazuki Ruler. She's totally awesome. Yeah. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support, and we'd greatly appreciate it. Also down below is our link to our uh, FOW Grimoire. It is our database slash card base slash deck builder app for Force of Will. Mm -hmm. And I've got a lot of compliments on it for just people liking it and how it works. And we tried to make it as simple as we could, and it's it's really nice. Just go check it out. Uh, with that, we're going to delve into the deck called Count On Me, which is just about counters on a Borazuki. Yep. That's what it does. Uh, so, our girl Borazuki, the Star Sword Visionary. She's the white ruler. She's got energized white. That's just how it is. How it is now. Uh, judgments for two white. And you can pay zero, reveal the top card of your deck, and count the number of white of light will symbols in the cost, and put that many one one counters on her. Uh, or, and then you can do it once per turn and only on your turn. And then you can pay, you can remove X counters from this card and put X counters on any entity you control. Play this ability only during your turn, only once per turn. Yeah. So essentially, you're like pay zero, flip the top card, get any number of one through five. And then you can remove any of those counters at a time and move them to your thing. Yeah. It's just free value the whole way. Yeah. And her remove ability to move them to a thing is only on your turn and once per turn, but it doesn't spe specify when. So you can yeah. be like, swing dude. That dude's going to go through. You're like, cool, put six, put seven counters on it. Yeah. Because I can. Did you try to block or burn it? Nope. It's alive now. Thanks. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous how good she can get. Um, and then she judgments into a 12-12 uh, light and dark. And she's got Flying and Drain. And you can remove a 1-1 one -one counter from the, another entity you control, put a counter on her, and then remove X counters from her. Your, your opponent, J resonates your opponent's control, get minus X, minus X, where X is the counters you remove. Pretty good. So after she sends all her counters out on the front side, she pulls them all back on this side. And it is free to pull them all back. You just got to keep removing them. So the only thing that is sad about that is it is, it puts that many separate instances of they can do something about it. So kind of rough but it is what it is yeah in major tournaments on you just gotta be like move one counter <laughs> yeah got any in response yeah, like, one cool. counter response so it should be fun with that for sure but, but powerful she's super good the fact that already she gets one one counters and she's at 12 12 <laughs> yeah. yeah flying drain like yeah she can one shot a person pretty easily too yeah real pretty quick now of course uh, our first resonator slash split card as well is flute the captive uh, Dragonoid Child. Her, of course, is a one drop resonator. It's this one four. She could tap, produce a white, or tap, put a one counter on another entity entity you control. So that means stones as well if you need to. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the chant part of it is a three white and one is destroy all J resonators with no one one counters on them. So, therefore, just a, a one sided board white pretty much because not many people do one one counters anymore. Yeah, and you're going to have all the counters on all your stuff. And the, the resonated part does have barrier, which actually comes in pretty oh, handy because yes. you're just like stack counters on her and you can't answer her. Yeah. And the other thing with the split cards and a Borazuki is when you reveal one, it counts both cards because it's the same card. Yeah. Like there are two separate cards, but it's on the same one and that's just how it reads. Uh, so you would get four counters off this card from an Borazuki, which is real, real nice. Yeah, real, real good. All right, next we're playing as uh, Asol, the White Gale Eagle. He has a one drop one one with flying. He has two abilities at the top. They don't matter. Uh, we're playing him for this last ability, which is when this card attacks, it deals X damage to target resonator, where X is the number of one one counters on this card. So you just stack counters on him, and you're just like, cool, sweet, and kill your dude. Yep. Simple as that. Yeah. Thanks. Simple, simple. Exorcist Mage of the Academy is the next one. It's a one drop wizard. It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's quick cast. And this card gains barrier as long as there's a 1-1 one, one counter on it, which can be pretty easy. If a Resonator would be put in the field without being played from the hand, remove it from the game instead. So no coming out of the graveyard or the deck or anything. Yeah. Get out of here. No free spells, no silly tokens come to play. Just no. Where Get... was this, you know, a year ago? Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, next is one of my fun cards I wanted to add to the deck to see what it would do, and it actually does quite a bit, is Light Servant of Ragnarok. It is a white and one. And it is a white and one in this deck, and it's a two drop five seven with quick cast. Um, it will not get the plus ten, but that's whatever. okay. Uh, if damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead. So you play this, and you just keep putting counters on this, and so you 
you almost have a backup shield the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. And with another card, this card's really funny. It's really, really it was super annoying, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, so, what is it? Similaria, the Summoner of Spirits, and the Dance of Spirits is another split card. Uh, this Resonator, it's a two drop 510, which is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. It has flying as well. Tap, remove X 1 1 counters from this card, put a 0 0 Light Spirit token with flying and X 1 1 counters on it onto the field if need be. But mostly the next part is the chant, which is the quick cast. Your opponent cannot play spells this turn. That's it's busted. So powerful. The reason this card's so strong on that is just because you you just keep swinging in your turn, and then the next turn that they get to go, you're like, mm, you untap? No, don't yeah. do anything. That's it. Like, if you have the win on your side, you don't want them to do anything to stop that. You're just <laughs> yeah. like, no, don't play spells. Thanks. Thanks, and I'll swing in for the win. Uh, next up is Rhea, the Spawn of the Star, and the split card Twinkle of the Star. So she is a two-drop 7-7. Seven, seven. Whenever, uh, it's originally reads whenever A counter, but it's got eroded to one or more. Because this card would be too good otherwise. Makes it very balanced. Yeah, so whenever one or more counters is put on this card, choose one. This card deals damage equal to its attack to target J Resonator, or you gain life equal to this card's defense. Yeah. Either one is super strong. Whether you need to kill the board and keep your 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 play area clean, or if you need to gain life against red. Yeah. Uh, and then the chance side is Twinkle the Star. It is a one-drop quick cast. Double the number of one-one counters on each magic stone and light entity you control. So if you have a Borazuki with counters, <clears throat> you just like, cool, double all the counters on everything. And she gets double counters, so you're just like, cool, one-shot you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Also, and then it's one. It's a one drop, and it's ridiculous. But if you have Ray in play with a Borzuki, you just literally get to control the board every turn. Yeah. Because you're like, cool, reveal the top card, get six, get five counters, put any number on Ray, do something. Kill your dude. Yeah, kill your dude, gain life. Yeah, every turn. <clears throat> so, super powerful. Next one is exactly named Magic Bird. It's a three white beast. It's a six six flyer. This card enters the field with two one one counters on it, so it's already a eight, eight flyer. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter from this card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on another entity you control, and there is no stopping on that. So you can stack as many as you want on here, mm -hmm. and then you could individually separate them if it's going to die. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, it's not once per turn or anything, so you just keep on doing it. Uh, next up is the Star Dragon. He is a 5 cost of 5 will, so if you reveal this, you get 5 counters, which is always nice. Yep. Uh, flying, Precision, and Pierce, and you pay a white less to play this card for each Magic Stone and Light Entity you control with a 1-1 counter on it. So each stone that has a counter and each Light Entity, so a Borazuki counts herself and any other resonators you have. Yeah. So this card's almost free uh, almost like, instantly. all the time. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, cool, this, this, <laughs> like, turn one, reveal a card, if you don't get something to play, you're just like, cool, put a counter on my stone. Like, yeah. you always want to do it just so that way you have them. So literally, if you have one in your hand and you reveal one, you just put five counters on your stone and you can play it, and then done. Well, you have to have four. You have to have five total. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Five total things that have counters. But it gotcha. is what it is. Okay, it's not per one-one one no, counter. No, it's that not would per make counter. It, that would make too good. That would make it way too good. It's five different things with counters. Yeah. All right, and the first thing we have, the first edition, is a one-drop Magic Crest of Light. When this card enters the field, distribute four one-one one counters on up to four target resonators. Well, this will make it easy. Yeah, yeah, this does help. Uh, next is Grace of the Star. It is a one drop, quick cast remnant chant. Target resonator gets plus four, plus four until the end of turn. If there's a one one counter on it, it also gains eternal and barrier. That is what makes this card disgusting. Yes. You're just like, cool, that dude gets big and he's got eternal. And if you play it on Light Servant of Ragnarok when it has a counter, then you don't die. You're yeah. like, cool, that dude's eternal. And this has remnant, so I'm gonna do it again because yeah. you can't stop me. Just at any time. And of course we have four copies, so that's eight copies of this yeah. card that just yeah. will make you win the game. Yeah. The next one is Endless uh, Starlight, the Sword and Star. Yeah, yeah, the Star Sword, sorry. Quick cast, one drop. Uh, this card deals damage to target Resonator equal to the, the Resonator's attack. Then put two 1-1 one -one counters on a Resonator you control. So, ridiculous. So, well, you just put it on, what, what was her name? Rhea. Rhea, yeah. And then you kill the dude. Yeah, I had to do that a couple games because I was like, that dude's real big. He deals damage to himself, put counters on Ray and kill it. Kill it, yeah. Done. Thank you. Uh, next is the Starlit Canopy. is a two-drop uh, addition. And in enter, remove target non-magic stone, non j entity with three or less from the game. And then whenever one or more counters is put on this card, draw a card. This is your way to gain draw cards after you do stuff. Yeah. Because you're like, cool, move a counter, draw a card, move a counter, draw a card. 
and like Raya or uh, a Borzuki can put counters on this, and the Magic Bird can put counters on this. So you're just like, cool, get free counters. Let's yeah. Go. And from any time, you can just remove them with or Borzuki and move mm -hmm. them around. So it's simple as that. That is it for the deck. For the stones are really simple. We're playing Epic Stone of the Star, which is either add a white or put a 1-1 counter on this card. Yeah. So it's just there to help you get the Star Dragon out quicker and give you free counters for a Borzuki. And then six like Magic Stones. So we're just we're going simple with the stones because we're just playing mono colors. It's not really difficult. Nope. So you just want to have as many stones and many counters as possible. This seems simple enough. Yeah. Uh, this deck can win pretty quickly just because you get to stack counters on certain dudes. You're just like, cool, that dude's big. Die. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's really hard to deal with. It's super fun. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out and give us a like in the comments down below. See y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.